Yeah, they're finally getting there. I feel like marathon training is just constant adjustment. You know? Yeah. It's constant. That's all right. James McCurdy, thanks for having me out here in Flagstaff for the session for Harvey today, or two sessions this morning and yeah. this afternoon. What's, uh, what's on the agenda? Well, we're doing something that I've actually never done before with athletes, uh, but it's something Harvey got with Mike Smith uh, from, from uh, his training with him over the years. Um, we're going to do a double threshold session. Uh, mm -hmm. This morning is three by two at around half marathon intensity. And then a shorter cool down. And then this afternoon, we're going to come back and run anywhere from four to five more miles of that same intensity. So it's a lot of volume today, 10 to 11 miles uh, that you wouldn't necessarily want to do in one session. Mm -hmm. And this is in preparation for? We're getting ready. Uh, we got a truck here. Uh, we are getting ready for a uh, fall marathon, an October marathon. So we're, we're more or less on a 10-day cycle right now. Okay. Uh, every 10 days is a, is a marathon-type long run uh, and with, with some harder sessions in between. It allows us a little bit more recovery time, and it ex allows us to extend that marathon block. Perfect. Cool. How are you feeling, Javi? Ready to go. Yeah. This is the famous uh, Lake Mary Road. Yeah. Yeah. Cars out this morning, cyclists are out. Uh, finally, the weather, we've had a serious monsoon season. Mm -hmm. um, but all the cyclists in town are, are very generous with moving over and, and, and uh, uh, giving the runners leeway. Yeah. Um, it's actually a little safer to run on the right-hand side of the road here just because the shoulder is that much bigger. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's also with a mile mark there. Yeah, sure. Is this uh, workout, like, have you included any hills specifically for, in preparation for hills in a race, or? Not yet. Yeah. Um, this past week, well, I shouldn't say not yet. This past weekend, we did, but it just didn't work. Yeah. Like, we, he shut it down within the first 25 minutes of the workout. Okay. So, uh, we will absolutely be doing that, yeah. because when any time you you're running a marathon, you don't need every single run to be terrain specific, but you want most of them to be. And so with, with a race that's going to have some undulating hills, some, some flat, but some, some longer hills in the, in the back half of the run, you definitely want training to kind of match that. And I think more importantly, not for pacing, but for uh, nutrition intake, yeah. teaching yourself how to handle, how to digest. Uh, today we're not taking any nutrition because we're at a much higher intensity level, yeah. but the next marathon session that we do, it's all about a, a bottle every 5K or so. Yeah, perfect. Better. Good. Like staying in that 135, 136? I think so. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely going to need those today. Yeah, one of the things we... I, I don't often like to ask about body weight, but with how much weight he lost in a session, I want to make sure that we don't get too light. Mm -hmm. To make sure he's hydrated, make sure he's eating enough. So it's something that we pay attention to from a standpoint of... Let's make sure everything's healthy. Uh, that's really important. I think some people are like, oh, lighter's better, lighter's better. Uh, and it's, it's not always that way. Yeah. You know? so, some athletes can run very, very well, uh, much lighter than somebody else. Um, but for somebody else, that might be very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. So we, we understand where Harvey needs to be. Um, so making sure he's kind of in line in that. And if he comes down too much, what do we need to do from a nutritional standpoint? So we actually have a nutritionist that he works with, okay. uh, Dr. Lisa Braden. Um, so she, she's been a great asset to us. She's worked with a lot of pros in the past, and she's been working with Harvey specifically on, on making sure he's getting enough food yeah. to sustain the volume of work that he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's get some strides in. Fifteen degrees. What do you think it's at now? If I had to say off the road, we're probably sitting closer to seventy. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we got out here, it was about fifty-five. Okay. And that's just in in forty-five minutes. It might not get too much warmer than that. Yeah. But with how much rain we've gotten this season, 
Harvey was kind of bitching and moaning about it uh, <laughs> last week. Uh, you know, Flagstaff is not, it's not dry. It's really humid this year. Um, and it, it is. It's really, really humid. Uh, I know Molly Seidel was, was talking about that leading into Sapporo. Yeah. Uh, that Flagstaff is actually really good for training because it was so humid this season. Yeah. So, and it's much needed, though, because we had some serious fires. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is, it made it hard. The fires made it hard. Um, we had one session where, you know, he's got some breathing issues, and he had to shut it down just because there were so many incendiaries in the air. And what elevation are we at here? I'm sorry? What elevation are we at here? We're just around 6,700. Okay. Um, there's not too diff much difference between 67 and 72. It's all about the same, so pretty much anywhere in Flagstaff, you say 7,000. If we started four miles away, it'd be closer to 7,000. So. Don't rock the first one just because there's a camera on you. All right? <laughs> yeah, how about that? off just a hair. second mile. Good. Right. So 450, 459, but the first mile. See, that's an interesting thing. I actually think the first mile on that is actually harder than the second. Right. Um, so I think he overcorrected a little bit because he was coming down but he managed to kind of find that balance inside of it. But this next is a little bit more even, okay. uh, if not slightly quicker. So I would anticipate 455, uh, 455. I'd anticipate about a nine, or a, yeah, about 950. Maybe 945 uh, would be ideal uh, without feeling, like having that be the same effort. So match, uh, that's the important, it's not always about splits, it's matching intensity for the terrain that you're on. Correct. And what's he taking in between the, the reps? What's just the... just two minutes. Uh, sorry, two minutes recovery, but the fluid? Oh, the fluid, yeah. There's probably 100, maybe 150 calories of scratch okay. inside of that, but it's not about energy intake in this run. There's just probably a little bit of something in there in the entirety of 17 ounces. Okay. We got 30 seconds. 9.45, without feeling like that was any harder. Okay. Right? I'm okay with it a little faster. I just don't want your hands on knees. Yeah, I'll just keep the same effort. Yeah. Where are we got here? I won't even look at the watch. I'll just... Yeah. Well, I mean, I want you to pay attention, right? Like, yeah. don't don't run a 9.40. Four, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Five, four, three, two, and time. Here we go.
two, good. There you go. Yeah. Good. Good. Four fifty two, four fifty three. South. Nine forty five. Good. Trucks on lifts. All right. Now this is the hard one. Right. This is the hard one. This is where the second mile might be a little slower because it's all uphill. So yeah, it, it's it um it's about sitting into it, right? So it's not about pacing. Control, control. Now it's what is threshold effort so much than pace? Like yeah. I kind of had a feeling you'd run 945, 950 on that. But you were right at 945. Now it's forget. Forget the time on it. Let's just run that feeling. You should finish feeling like you got another two mile. Yeah. Right? Okay. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful we stay in that 955, 10 minute range. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd like to see. Yep. Um, it does, like this, this segment of Lake Mary on Strava. For all you Strava geeks out there, it's it's called "Well, the fun is over," <laughs> okay? Because the fun's over, it starts to roll back uphill. Um, Very straightforward. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's honest. Lake Mary is honest. Okay. That's that's the key here. It, there's nothing. There's no hiding here. No. None. Zero. Maybe a mile thirteen to fourteen, but that's it. People finish fast long runs on thirteen to fourteen. They're like, "Oh, I ran a five twenties." No, you didn't. That's screaming <laughs> downhill. Let's have you guys swap a little bit. Here we go. Good. 452. That's great. Oh yeah, that last bit, that last half mile. That's 
Did I forget to give you my shoes? Yeah, maybe. Shit. <laughs> this afternoon. Yeah. So the last, uh, the last little bit there was slightly uphill. Yeah, it's probably about 50 feet of vert, maybe the last half mile. Yeah. Okay. It's like, cause I went through the uh, half mile in like 227, and then the second half is four. So I finished in about 458. Yeah. So that means. I don't know, I can't do the math there. A little tired, but... <laughs> yeah, a little slower that is. Whatever that half. is, like a... Even though you picked up the effort a little bit, you were slightly, slightly yeah, so slower slightly in the second slower. half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the second half's more uphill. The rest of it's, like, pretty evenly like, rolling. Yeah. And then, that yeah, that last half mile is just all up. Yeah. Right. So we've got, like, uh, how many hours now until the second session? Uh, it's 9 o'clock now. Like 6, 8. Because yeah. we'll go at 4.30. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, about... Yeah, eight eight hours. Yeah, yeah. But well, we, that's more for for temperature yeah. than anything else. Like, if it was going to be fifty five degrees, we might do it at two o'clock. But it's yeah. not. Right. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. So n not even nine fifty five. We finished closer to nine fifty three. Yeah. So. Yeah. That was pretty. Spot was it nine fifty three? Yeah. 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 Ten miles back here, we had you up here. So. Oh yeah yeah yeah. What will you do in between this and the afternoon session? Anything specific in terms of trying to recover between the two, or just the uh, just the usual? I might like hop in some my uh, my uh, they're kind of like the the leg pumps. They're not the uh, fancy ones. I got some knockoff brand, but uh, <laughs> they still work. That's, yeah, a they work. That's a sponsorship <laughs> opportunity right there. Yeah, got whatever junk knockoff brand leg pumps we got going yeah. on. <laughs> Hit me up. Uh, what is it? Hyper Ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baby. We just got some micro rice. Oh, really? Yeah, and they're really, really good. Yeah. So maybe you come over today and use them. Oh, yeah. But yes, yeah, try to sleep yeah. and uh, eat a ton of carbs and rehydrate. It's freaking humid as shit. Yeah, it's humid. <laughs> you can't tell by how soaked I am. But, yeah, so nothing like out of the normal because I do like a ton of doubles. So I get down what I usually do, try to nap, get some food in. Uh, sleep if I can. Yeah. I usually get a little wired after workout so it's like kind of tough to sleep between double sessions yeah. if I have a hard session but some water. Oh thank you. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so dude how you feeling today? Feeling good. Yeah. Feeling pretty recovered. What did you end up having for, for food after? <laughs> I had some oatmeal for breakfast and then I had a, a bowl from Panda. A bowl? A bowl from what? Panda Express. Panda Express? Oh yeah. <laughs> God, man, that's the meal of champions right there. That's all right. That's all right. It'll be good. That'll be good. What'd you have in it? Uh, teriyaki chicken. It's oh yeah. Really good. <laughs> it was like healthy. I mean, it's not like. But, uh, there's nothing. Listen, we're, we got a lot of miles today, so I don't really care. You know, you could have had uh, the, the, uh, the cream cheese rolls. I would have been fine with that. I just want to make sure you're getting enough in. Yeah. You know. But uh, all right. And what's on this afternoon? Oh, okay. So we're gonna do two to three mile warm up. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on how his legs are feeling. If he needs a little bit more, we'll, we'll take a little bit more. Um, and then we're just gonna do four or five by uh, one mile short loops. Um, this, where we are right now, we have two choices. We could do a, kind of a, a figure eight or an L, or we can do a, a, a short loop. And we're gonna do the short loop. One loop plus 54 feet is a mile here. So okay. um, yeah, we're gonna do, we're just gonna do short loops. And it's, it's got a good challenge to it. Different than Lake Mary, but but the same with the, the, the rolling terrain. Sure. Any goal paces or see how we're I would feeling? Love, I would love to see 455 down to 445 cool. and have that feel. I know it's a big range, but it really depends on how his legs are. Uh, have that feel like we're, we're only going to take a one minute rest. Mm -hmm. So okay. you, you better be able to stay in control and do it again and do it again and do it again. Sure. So, cool. yeah. They cool you off when you're coming downhill. Yeah. So, all right, so let's get some strides, some drills. Take our time with it. So we've got a bit of a headwind coming from this direction. Yeah, you know? coming down and around. So it'll be headwind for the first like 300, 400 meters. And once we start curving around, depending on the on the blockage of trees, it does start to go uphill. But hopefully we get a little bit of tailwind, mm -hmm. and we're just going to come right around and right back into it. Yeah. So, like you said before on the uh, warm up, it's ideal to practice in these sorts of, sorts of conditions anyways because yeah, yeah I'm actually hoping that that rain it's done. 
I'm hoping it comes and dumps on us. Maybe not good for the camera, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, um, yeah. As long as it's not hailing, I don't mind some of that adversity, uh, especially with, with a session that we've already had earlier today, which was really solid. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't run 450 or 455. We ran 502, but it was really, really, really windy. Yeah. That's not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the most underrated places to run in Flagstaff. Okay. Absolutely, in my mind. We're like 10 minutes to the west of the center, I guess, here? Is yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're on the west side. Yeah. Um, I mean, you got trails right there. Yeah. The road is perfect. It's quiet. Yeah. There, any, any time, there's no through traffic. Yeah. So being on a, on a secluded loop like this, any time you can run up here or you have a, a steady threshold and it needs to be pretty spot on and but still have adversity this is the place to go because it's it's shady yeah. you know if you need it it's protected it's protected i love it yeah. 72 73 is all right let's try not to run 70. Wait, all right. um, do you have my shirt it's in the car i never took it out I was like, someone, that was my favorite shirt, someone stole it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Where we start at the hydrant? Solid. Good, 449. It's the smallest change, but here, back to here takes time. But if we could just shorten that motion, just, just, just a fraction of a motion, especially fighting wind, you'll spend less time in the air and more time moving forward. Okay. A little bit of water. Eight, seven, six, five. <coughs>
Go, 412, come on now. Good, quick upper body. So it started to rain fairly heavily, so. Uh, oh yeah. Good I'm practice. I'm in heaven. I'm Scottish, this is wonderful. <laughs> Good, 450. Spot on. Good work, dude. Come on, right. One minute. Good. We'll do one more. Okay. All right, let's hit it. Two, one, and time. Here we go. Good, that was a 34. That was solid. Nine. Good! Alright, we're at 69 high. Good, that was 69 high. Good, yeah! Good, that's the effort we need. Now just keep smooth and keep pushing through this. Good, 334 hard, best 1200. Good, try to relax that face even though the rain's pounding on it. Four forty six, last one. Yeah, four forty six low. Awesome. That's not an easy loop. No, this is. Uh, there's not. There's no. There's no faking it in flag. You know, like this is. We don't want. You know, if you fluff it, it doesn't do you any good. You get to a race, you get your ass kicked. You know. It's a nice, It does feel good. Yeah, that was solid, man. Was what were you solid. thinking when it uh, started to rain pretty heavily? Uh, <laughs> I thought, damn, my shirt's getting heavy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nah, it's uh, it's like the rain's like cold. Yeah. So it's like each one kind of like sends a little jolt through you. Yeah. But it was like nice. Yeah. It wasn't like it wasn't like a deterrent to like running well. Yeah, sure. It was just like ooh. But yeah. It's always nice to have a little bit of change up during a workout. For sure. I was a little worried it was going to be hail, which, I, you know, I get a little worried about that. You never know if it's going to be like small pellets or golf balls. But yeah, that would have that would have hurt. That would not have been fun. Yeah. But it would have held off. Yeah. And now we got this beautiful sunny storm. <laughs> Arizona, baby. Right? So recap of the day, pretty happy with how it all went? Yeah, I think it was a really solid double threshold session. Yeah. Did the 6 in the morning, 4 at night, 10 on the day. It's, uh, I had to, yeah, I mean, it was, this has been my best training block ever, and so having sessions like this and just like gives continued con uh, confidence of what I'm doing. So. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Yeah, so I think it's a, I think it was a really solid, yeah, really solid day. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah. yeah, especially coming off of last week. Yeah. You know, the mileage has been high too. We're running 115 to 130. Yeah, this was a 120 week. Yeah. So, okay. yeah.